गुड मॉर्निंग टू एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट जो हो गया डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकेट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग एंड आईपीएससी सेल ऑर्गेनाइजेस दिस वन वीक ऑनलाइन फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम फॉर द फैकल्टीज एंड द स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन खुदा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मेकेट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट टू वेलकम द दिस थैंक यू मैम गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अ कॉलेज एम एम स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकेट्रॉनिक्स एंड ऑल्सो आई क्यू एस सी सेल अवर बिलो करेस्पॉन्डेंट अवर रेस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल एंड फैकल्टीज ऑफ अवर डिपार्टमेंट इट इज माई प्लसर टू वेलकम अवर चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर डी डोरिंग रॉबिन फाउंडर एंड डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटेशनल इंटेलिजेंस रिसर्च फाउंडेशन चेन्नई फॉर डेलीवरिंग ए स्पीच ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन ऑटोमेशन वेलकम यू मैम and also i would like to uh, welcome our principal all the department hodis and all the faculty members of our college and all the participants for attending the one week online fdp program on uh, recent trends and advancement in robotics and uh, mechatronics once again i welcome you all uh, now i would like to call upon our department hod dr punita ma'am to deliver introduction about our chief guest today over to prita ma'am uh, thank you sana ma'am uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our chief guest our chief guest dr d dorin robin is the director of computational intelligence research foundation she received her bbs in information technology from madras university chennai and an mba in computer science and engineering from anna university chennai and she has completed her phd uh, in computer science and engineering from anna university Her research interest includes parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analysis. Again, her previous positions include professors and head at Nilok ICM College of Engineering and Technology in the Department of IT, and also assistant professor at the Department of CSE in Sri Venkateswara College of Engineering, Chennai. And she is also a teaching research associate at the Department of Computer Science, Anna University. Chennai, and uh, she also worked in Assistant College of Engineering in Chennai. She has published about thirty papers in international and national journals and conferences. She is a lifetime member of ISP. She is a reviewer for Computer and Electrical Engineering Journal and the Future Generation Computer Science Journal. She has been the resource person for the workshops on digital classrooms, big data analytics using Hadoop. data science using python machine learning deep learning cognitive computing and software testing once again i welcome you ma'am our session is yours uh thank you punitha ma'am on behalf of computational intelligence research foundation i would like to thank the entire management students and staff of mam school of engineering for having invited me to give a talk on ai and automation okay we are going to see about ai and or uh, how it is working in automation more than i am going to speak i hope most of you were working about it all right so to start my session on this bright saturday morning i'm happy to meet the students and staff of mam school of engineering all right uh, generally all the colleges carry in M college of engineering here it's more specific it's school of engineering so before i start my session uh, let me ask start my session with a very simple question okay you can all respond on the chat happy to see more than 88 people on live now okay on google meet how are you today you can give your responses on chat fine fine thank you fine ma'am fine thank you fine ma'am yes so in this pandemic situation i am in chennai and some of you would be in tiruchi i think i suppose yeah i'm fine janet thank you for asking me all right i hope my audio yeah thank you so this is the greatest opportunity that god has given to us uh, we are alive in this world 
after this pandemic of two years okay we are said for after in one year and above and uh, so each of us would have seen many challenges and i'm so happy to meet you all today and when i see on the chat there that you are good we'd like to praise and thank our almighty for preserving our life and thank you shakti veil thank you so i'm uh, i'm happy to give a talk on is my screen shared with you are you able to see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, we what is artificial intelligence and automation? Okay, these are buzzwords, right? Artificial intelligence, robotics, IoT. All right, and I hear today all streams of students are here. Uh, some of you are watching on YouTube. Some of you are into the Google Meet. Okay, and you can all give the responses. It does not reduce a human effort, but also removes the need of interventions together. Okay, the combination of artificial intelligence and automation is probably popularly known as automation quantum or it's intelligent robot process automation okay we'll be also seeing about what is cognitive automation okay where we say about rpa okay have you heard about this word rpa robotic process automation yes no you can type it on chat why if it is yes uh, yen if it is no and youtube viewers also could uh, give your responses on the chat all right you have not yet so we'll see to it okay listen carefully to the lecture okay and um, no, so seeing through online or YouTube or whatever it is, Google Meet. At the end of the session, we are going to play a live quiz. All right, we are going to play a live quiz. Uh, wherein uh, you are going to uh, answer certain questions and we are going to see who will be the winner. Okay, who will be the winner of the day? So listen to the talk carefully. So what is intelligent order? How many, I hope most of you would have seen hotel serving with robots, the car manufacturer you would think that uses robotics along with AI. So as you hear, we have different streams of people. So what do I say when you're trying to, when you're going to develop projects, maybe Okay, start thinking about the problem formulation right from your second year. Start be strong in technologies by third year and the flow of your project. And on the fourth year, start developing your product. Okay, so every project should come out with the product. And also here, if you if your college permits integrated department uh, uh, projects, you can do it because when you see an example of a manufacturing of car, I'll just show you a video. Some of you would have seen it. How in for AI, you need people of computer science IT to develop it. And then you for the robotics for manufacturing the mechanical, the electronics you need, the ECE and AAA students. So if your college allows, you can also start working with the integrated department. So being into academics for more than a decade, I always see when it is interdepartment, every project will come to a product. But you should not go and hunt at the end of the fourth year. By the end of first year, by the second year, you should be clear on what problem you're going, definition of problem and how the flow works on third year. Be strong, get yourself trained on technology. Final year is just given for you to develop a product. Even by the mid of third year, you can start developing it. All right. So intelligent automation is a combination of robotic process automation. So there is an involvement of robot, okay, and artificial. These two technologies play a vital role in the domain of intelligent automation. Okay, so understanding, do you understand? Intelligent automation is a combination of a robot processing and AI. I'll tell you the difference between AI and robot and what is the advantage that you are going to explore when these two technologies get integrated themselves. Okay, which together empowers end-to-end, -end, rapid end-to-end, -end, uh, business process automation and accelerate digital transformation and it accelerates your digital transformation. Any one of you here, have you booked uh, any product in Amazon or Flipkart? Amazon or Flipkart? Yes, no, no, yes. Have yes, you? Okay. How many Wait, of you know the uh, how Amazon does the packaging? of your products that you have placed orders? 
five days which comes it's automated or it's human processed this is true automated it's automated who gave the answer ahmeda congratulations okay i don't know you can tell your name okay so here you see you from a place you place an order for a particular product okay the product placing order goes to the software amazon and to which inventory the product is available and the product is picked by the robot it does the packaging and delivering is done by the pro human involved okay here you see a lot of ai the artificial intelligence program is involved and in more addition the automation is done by the robots that is one example all right and then when you see uh when you see ai ml the in the cloud marketplace you have process discovery mining the analytics plays a vital role all right and rpi you said what is rpi robotic process automation with ai makes a vital role here you can see this part is automation can you see here i, I am lasering it i am showing through a laser pointer can you see this part is automation okay analytics is optimizing so when you develop uh, it does lot of analytics program so where you would have seen this the people who uh, are tried to buy this product also brought this product okay have you would have seen it the customers who view this product has viewed the other product also yes no have you seen it when you place an order that is due to the analytics the concept is called a recommendation engine and the process discovery and mining when you place an order for just an example i'm taking amazon flipkart we are more uh, using it more and this pandemic made us to use more okay so even to buy a shampoo we we place orders and even for small things and even for bigger things so the process discovery and mining it finds which inventory the product is available all right so here it's it i'm just giving an example of flipkart it could be on any domain you can apply it. this is just a very very simple structure so today as we are going to see AI, can you see the integration of ai and automation here can you see the integration of ai and automation so here it is very understood these two domains are used okay now i'm going to show you how in bmw ai is used in their production listen to the video carefully so ai into artificial intelligence production okay they what do they do you can see here they go and take the picture of different photos okay photos and also from different angles here why do we say ai is used i will say a lot of image processing or image analytics from whatever angle that see you are taking the image is taken to a database okay then the software learns the different permutation and combination okay those accepted then the application goes to a camera taking a live image of vehicle so it takes a lot of image a video analytics image analytics works a vital role here and then they formulate the algorithms okay how to develop it okay how it's used in its production okay you can see to it and then at once again they do the press shop okay how the plants are does the, can you see the robotic arms moving a camera it takes the picture automated picture so even there is a very micro crack also that is possible and it is also optimized using the algorithm can you see there's a micro crack okay it the ai algorithm using image analytics it processes the uh, its self learning software distinguishes images with error without error after only 100 images okay so the infrared camera takes a live image of the component that is there for every component that has been manufactured then if there is a micro crack or if it is a, uh, within milli milliseconds okay you get even if it it, is, it cannot be done using a human of micro cracks but this ai used in this automation field plays a vital role so it says it's not okay and which one is okay if it is not okay they they push it off and they take only the products that has been done so ai plays a vital role in the production in manufacturing and many other fields and also does the measuring 
okay and it compares with the database whether it's the exact measure that is given to you okay so a lot of AI algorithms are used in the production field all right and so and uh, now the next example where AI is used in automation is see this hotel hotel you have servers who come and do a service how the home sir room service is done using uh, the oh. robots see a person is giving a order no, so meal delivery man uh, he is coming so she uh, no. she uh, she asked for a meal see no. the robot it comes in it says uh, whatever the food the person has arrived from the room it does arrive and when the when they open whatever they, they ask for i don't know something they ask for milk and when it, they place the order without any human intervention ta a task has been optimized can you see the task has been optimized and then <laughs> the server goes all right so see how beautiful, right? Even faster than the human. So uh, here it uses a lot of AI and um, oh, automation process books. In manufacturing of cars, okay? Let's see in this video how it is working. Okay. See, it's first we saw about in the production unit, okay, how AI works. And in here we are seeing about how the robotics is working on the manufacturing field okay here you need to write algorithms that is to be embedded that uses ai and these uses your robotics the manufacturing unit all right so here you can see how uh, what is the different scope of ai in the field of production you can see there is no human and it is completely automated and the level and the speed in which the cars are manufactured are more in comparison with human okay are more in comparison with human each product is being manufactured all right and then it is uh, then it is checked it out uh, checked out during the production okay so as students as students our objective is not to use the end product okay as students uh, our objective is not just to use the end product how it has been developed how is the product being developed okay how is the product being developed okay so what are the technology used and even during your engineering course you can do a very small part of uh, automation task okay where that is what i always say you need to have an integration integration department which enables you to develop good product so whether you're able to understand the rpi with ai any doubts till now if there is a if there is no doubt you can type yes or you can type clear or whatever it is on the chat all right thank you janet okay so now we are going to see the uh, basic definition between AI and robotics. So it's still now we have seen the applications on hotel and production and also in the manufacturing. Okay. So in robotics is a field that deals with okay that deals with the creation and designing of mechanical humans. So you can see when I showed you the video of how the car has been manufactured, you could have seen a lot of robotic arms coming okay and you can have seen the example of a server where when we stay in hotels we when we do a room when you need a room service you want a food from the room you can apply call it and apply and uh, keep ordering what you need and without any human intervention you can see the robot it's mechanical so robotics is a field that deals with creation and designing of this mechanical human only with this mechanical human the robots cannot work the robots need to be perfectly program to automate task okay the programs need to be the robots need to be perfectly programmed using uh, to automize that task so a robot is a machine it's just a machine capable of sensing and interacting how it is going to interact with the environment okay that it uh, is much much needed okay so what is artificial intelligence so this is about robotics it's a machine so ai increases 
All right. The comfort of humans increases the industry productivity. That is what I showed you before. It's not quantitative. It's both quantitative as well as qualitative. Even a micro crack, I don't know how when we develop a car, manufacture a car with the humans, micro cracks could be seen. I don't know, but see, using the image processing, image processing, it is able to find a micro crack with 1,000 images or 100 images, and it's easy for us to eradicate it. So AI is a computer program that is capable of creating a machine having its own intelligence. The machine is what we are going to use is robotic, having a feeding intelligence into it is using a computer program that uses AI. When I integrated, that is what I said, AI and robotics are powerful combination to automize tasks. So our topic for today is artificial intelligence and automation. Inside and outside, it has become increasing with the common presence in robotic solutions. That is why we are seeing it. Okay. So, and uh, anybody would like to share any application that you have learned or you have experienced AI and automation? Just for a minute, you can put it under the chat or you can unmute and speak. Any application do you wish to share that you have experienced automating your tasks? Madam, <coughs> air conditioner. Air conditioner. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so it automizes our task. Okay, it is automizing our task and also different application. I don't know how many of you use Alexa, Siri, what it does. Alexa, Siri, Google Assistant. How many of you experienced it? Even when you do a search, we don't speak. If you, if you speak, you get it. All right. How many of you have used it? Anybody has used Alexa, Siri, or Google Assistant? Yes or no? Answers on chat, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes. What was a recent application of any one of these or anything more than that? What was a recent experience? My dear. Okay. So as Sri Ram says he uses Google. We are going to listen, see about it. So for robotic application, I showed you how it is used in the assembly, right? In the assembly of car. And also it it works whatever machine you want to do an assembly, even a complex manufacturing set, aerospace, okay? Aerospace with real-time course correction that we have seen already. And packaging, you know it, right? Amazon uses a packaging which uses an AI algorithm to work on with that. And then customer service. So I told you, right, an example, the hotel service and how it is used in retail stores and hotels around for customer services. All right. Here, an open source. Here, open source robotics this plays a wider role. This is what I want the students to focus on it. Okay. Open source robotics. You can develop. You cannot think of developing a very big application. Okay. But having, buying a robot and feeding an algorithm into it using different Python programming of machine learning, deep learning, you can automate tasks. Even for a small scale agriculture, how the water is pumped, taking the drought of the soil, and if there is a need of watering for your products, okay, that could be done, okay. So, AI, it's uses or usually operates on computer simulated worlds, but robotics works on real physical world. The input to AI is only rules and symbols it cannot understand, but input to robots could be analog. That is what you can see the per the that girl was speaking to, what she wants to. Order it. The input could be a speech form, or you see when you after the machine is developed, it takes images to find. So using this AI program, any micro crack is available. The need of general purpose is to uh, general purpose computer. They need here. They need a special hardware with sensors and affect us. All right, here you need sensors. Of how many of you know about Sophia the robot? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. What does it do, Shakti Veil? Okay. So, as students, it is not the application that you need to focus on. How the robot has been done? It's done. Anybody know from which company it has been done? Which company produced Sophia the robot? Yes, no, no, yes. Yes, let's go into it. Listen. Yes, somebody unmuted the mic. All right, so let's see how this is the best example of AI what in automation. Okay, so so the stylish, uh, they meet Sophia the robot. What do you hope for when you are 400? 
See here, there is no uh, human intervention. When the person asks the question, this is a robot that is designed by Hansel Robotics. Okay. I'm, I'm doing great, Sophia. Thank you. And it is also asking That's the question. For starters, tell me, what is the meaning, what is the meaning of, life? of life? It is a robot. I think the meaning of life is to maximize pattern existence. So, so without the, any human intervention, itself. it learns the patterns so, and there is a knowledge that has been built. Okay. What is your happy place? So what, whenever the questions are asked, can you see the expression on the face here? You can see the expression of the face, how it has been done by the human, but it's totally a robot that works. A bit like we're having now. Okay, so art, robotics and artificial intelligence, they work together. Okay, a computer vision, navigate, sense, calculated reactions. Okay, through machine learning, which gains a part of computer programming and AI. So who coined the word AI? The AI, you keep hearing the word AI and AI back to back and again and again. So the AI is coined by John McCarthy. He's the person who coined this term. Imagine 1956, none of us would have been born that time. It is a great lot of sensation. This is because AI has given the power to give life to robot and take decisions on the one. That's the best example I've seen here. Sophia, the robot. Okay. AI. So artificial intelligence is the word that is coined by John McCarthy. Okay. John McCarthy. Okay, he's the person who started, who framed this week. Now, quickly, we are going to see what are the different types of AIs available. Okay, this the first first type of AI that we are going to see is about the weak artificial intelligence. Okay, weak artificial intelligence. This type of AI is used to create simulation of human thoughts and interaction. Okay, the robots are defined here. When you say it is VKI, the robots have been predefined comments. If this is a comment, then this should be the response. Okay, when you study in school also and colleges, there will be rules that is defined. Okay, yes, MI is related to A. ML is a subset of AI. A is a huge set. I'll show you how inside A, a subset is machine learning. A subset of machine learning is deep learning. Thank you for asking the question, Abdul. Okay. So, uh, weak AI, if you take here, it is command and response. Okay. If you pass, if you study well, you will pass. I think like an university has said, this time you're going to write the three hours exam. All right. Not like last semester MCQ. However, the robots, they don't understand, but, um, uh, but they do only the work of what to the response okay so i hope you everybody some of you said you used a, a google siri sorry google assistant siri and alexa the ai in this device is only executes the task as demanded whereas if you see in sophia the robot it 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 interacts okay without any demand from the user by the owner not the user there is nobody who's uh, who's instructing sophia to do it it does the automation but when you take this big ai example that is google assistant siri and ai alexa here it executes the task only with when it gets a command from the user and it responses accordingly and it responses accordingly i'm going to play a video listen carefully to the video at the end of it you are going to answer me which is the best siri alexa or google assistant here we go <laughs> Speakers. So we thought it would be really fun questions, and we'll just cut to the answer to see how they respond. Now, there's not going to be an official winner at the end of this, but it will be all everyday questions. So First up, we're going to ask each assistant to play common music. Common hey, music? Siri, play me some common music. It's us in Siri. Here's show music, just for you. Here's a station for common music, classical focus from Amazon Music. From Amazon, it gives classical. Okay, here's a Spotify playlist called Common Christian. As you can see, all three assistants were able to play calming music, music. although Google Assistant so, specifically chose said. calming Christian music, which Calm. I didn't specify, but still, they're all able to choose different themes, different uh, styles of music, as well as the... Okay. ...and musicians. So the next question... Next up, we're going to ask each one to set a reminder. Reminder, hey, Siri, Remind me to call the vet tomorrow. 
Okay. I added call the butt to the reminders for tomorrow at 9 a.m. What time tomorrow should I remind you? Noon, please. Okay. I'll remind you tomorrow at noon. Okay. I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. I like that all three assistants. All the three assistant masters, but, but Amazon, Siri, and the Google Assistant default to specific they, times, whereas Alexa actually they have their own time. Like but Amazon Alexa was asking a specific times where the they need Alexa to start do the reminder. At what time it needs the reminder? So to the same job is done, on. and each of them hey, have got their own. Turn on the kitchen lights. Siri, it is asking to okay. turn on the kitchen light. And then it is going to ask uh, Alexa. Okay. And then uh, Google Assistant. Sure, turning four lights on. Okay. So are able to control lights, but not only. So whatever the commands, okay, that it has been programmed. So we saw an example of how it plays the music, all right, and how it uh, uh, sets the reminder and how it switches off the light and on. Which one you like the most? You can put on the chat or you can unmute. Siri, Google Assistant, or Alexa. Yes, no, no, yes. Siri, okay. Janet, is, Janet Kumar is the most active person today. I always get good responses. Thank you, Abdul. I'm using Echo Dots and Google Me. Thank you. You are exploring technologies. All right. So uh, I want whosoever is listening to the session, please be active participants. Okay. You can give your responses on your chat. All right. Be, at the end of it, you're going to play a quiz that is going to define who is going to be the winner. So listen carefully. So the next type of AI, so we have completed weak AI. The next example is strong AI. Okay. In those who perform the task on the one, they need not have any kind of supervision. Okay. That is what we have seen uh, here. Uh, we have seen about self drive. Uh, we'll be seeing an example of self driving cars and internet cars. Okay. And we saw Sophia the robot, right? We saw Sophia the robot. That is the best example of a, a strong AI. Okay, that's the best example of a strong AI. You, you should have seen about the self-driving cars and, and surgery or getting robotic surgery. Okay, that becomes very, very common now. All right, and uh, we'll be seeing of all these three. These three comes under a strong AI. You can see this car, it's developed by Galileo, We're driving the future of autonomous vehicles. Okay, how okay. AI have paved a path. Okay. Uh, the first autonomous vehicle done by Galileo in Europe. Okay, it's the key in, in technology. It even takes the image of the road and formulates whether there is a curve. It uses multi frequency. It's crucial if we want to get what we call lane uh, level accuracy. How do you get the lane level accuracy sure when you drive it on? Self driving car and you should have learned about Tesla, Tesla cars, right? And some few months before, even they had uh, an accident. It's a very minor thing, but the prediction and the invention is small. It takes the lane level, and whenever there is a curve, it takes the image, and accordingly, it does. Galileo provides better position accuracy, but also provides better signal Can you see how whenever it takes an image, and it is being trained? All right, and this is the best example of strong AI. And you have seen about uh, uh, Sophia the robot. Okay, Sophia the robot. See, it has come to AI to Kochi, to our own India. Okay, you can see how it is interesting. This is company Hanson Robotics. Hanson Robotics. It's a humanoid robot. Okay, Sophia the robot is a humanoid robot done by Hanson Robotics. I will show you the website of Hanson, so you will understand how it has been developed. Okay. November two thousand seventeen, when Sophia was named. Okay. The United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion and is the first non human to be given any United Nations title. Okay. So, guess what? Kubra said, Kubra is Kubra. Okay. He's going to be talking to Sophia, is Sophia. Are you ready? Expressions. But hey, hi. So, tell me, this is your first visit to Kochi. What are your impressions? I love all the people I've met so far. This is an exciting city. 
Six hundred years ago, so it, it is giving all the details of it with no human intervention. Okay, I'm grateful to be here. Can you see here? This say, is an example of strong AI. Whereas in big AI, you had a human intervention. Okay, nobody instructs it; it does the jobs on our own. More efficient, so everyone is better off. What impressed you the most? The people here have been so kind and hospitable. See how does it get shut? So a lot of programs have been done. Learn about humans. Also, okay. this grand Hyatt. So I said these are examples of strong AI. One is on um, we have seen it is on self-driving cars, humanoid robots, and uh, how it is used in a uh, surgery. Okay. Nowadays, after this pandemic, we have seen doctors even doing the treatment through video calls. Okay, before it was being developed. Okay, they done automation. Can you see here? Precision surgical arms designed for proper instrument position. The spinal cord operation. Increase surgeon precision. Automating okay. the bronchoscopy process. How they are going to? The they have a camera which sees about it and goes inside and does the work. And here, a lot of algorithms on AI works on. While decreasing invasiveness and cost. So we thought that the doctors are able to do the operation. coronary intervention (PCI) and peripheral vascular intervention (PVI). Which Can traditionally you require the surgeon to wear legs. But they will be Using trained beforehand how it works, the surgeon, how that the whole. Outcomes. Robotic so surgery robotic surgery they plays a vital role on AI and innovation. Okay. So the final type of AI is the specialized AI. Okay, where robots need to perform only specified tasks. Okay, or oh, it's a, it is mainly it is used in industries. Okay, anybody have seen a painting robot? Anybody has seen a painting robot? Yes, no. No. No, you have not seen painting robot. Okay. I'm going to show this is an first we saw VKI, then we moved on to strong AI. VKI, there's they need a command to respond, but strong AI, it does it works on its own. We saw about self-driving the car, we saw about Sophia, humanoid robot, and the robotic surgeon. And the final thing that we're going to see is the strong AI. It does only the particular task, mostly it is used on industries. Okay, mostly it is used in industries. So I'll show you an example how it is used in painting. Painting, okay. Um, so it is an autonomous painting robot. So here, how it does before which the pictures and the measurement of the place, an autonomous robot for application of finished materials. Okay. So it is using this for Okibo. Okay, I. Bivo, okay, Bivo, okay. It's an AI guided 3D scanning of it. Does the scanning of the window structure because whenever there's doors and windows, it should not paint. Okay, then it does the automatic path planning how it should be done. All right. Even a human, you can see exactly when it comes to the door, it doesn't paint. Okay. And, and also the windows are wherever there is a program which has a designing been done. Okay, and a simulation of it is done so fast you can never see a human doing it. Okay, this is an example of specialized AI. Okay, this is an example of specialized AI. Okay, started. Okay, Sophia the robot. Okay, this website you can see handsonrobotics.com. Okay, here you can see how Sophia the robot is a future of AI. Okay, combination of science, engineering, artistry. Okay, as a students, okay, you need to see the go to after the session, go to hands in AI, humanizing AI, and what is the research they're doing it. Okay, I always strongly involve in students to go into research. Okay, engineering college is the best place uh, during the course. You can do a lot of research. Okay, and realistic human like robots. Okay, and uh, can you see whatever the papers they've submitted? Okay, you can get it as a PDF, you can read to it, you can understand more about it. All right. So how the uh, David Hansen, how he has done the keynote address in 2018. 
okay all the details are given okay and you can download the mp4 so when you listen to it our our objective why colleges are conducting these kind of event for you to develop products okay engineering is a course where you are fully developed to uh, where you are fully equipped to develop products okay we have seen about the different types of ai and we saw about ai okay studies for how it is used and the applications any doubts till now is it clear yes no no ma'am no no ma'am no, ma thank you thank you sir okay thank you and next we'll be moving on into are robotics and artificial intelligence same thing no they aren't the same they're totally different fields it's a mechanical human here it's a computer program okay they're entirely separate but artificially intelligent robots so robotics is a separate field ai is a separate field with the combination of this the sector okay artificially intelligent robots bridges between the robotics and ai okay these robots are controlled by ai programs so abdul asked the question well, what is ai what is ml so when you take ai its ability to reason uh, like humans okay that's a bigger set a part of it a subset of machine artificial intelligence is machine learning ability to learn programs without being explicitly programmed okay here machine learning and deep learning programs try to learn patterns from your data set okay it learns the pattern say for example if it is a college education system how a student uh, uh, does the first uh, some first internal second internal by the third internal your teacher will know your professor will know whether the student will pass or the student need to be on the middle or he will fail so even without it, it is done by human but once the programs are fed if say for example a university is going to have two lakhs or ten lakhs of students once the internals are fed before the final exams are being given they should be able to cluster so these set of students will pass these will get an average and these, these students may fail and there will be a set of students in the middle where the researches will be done the training will be given special class to push them to pass over okay it is done without being explicitly programmed because it learns but when you take deep learning it's a subset of machine learning it uses your artificial neural network a uh, mimicking of your human brain it adapts and the accuracy from deep learning algorithm is more in comparison with machine learning algorithm so artificial intelligence started in the year 1950 okay uh, and machine learning in 1960 deep learning in the year 1970s here simulated intelligence in machines okay here uh, getting machines to make decisions without being programmed because it learns it solves in deep learning it solves complex problems even in healthcare sectors lot of deep learning algorithms are being done okay ai is a subset of data science machine learning is a subset of ai and data science and deep learning is a subset of machine learning ai and data science it builds machine which are capable of thinking like humans here making machine through data they learn the pattern and they solve problems whatever data we have been trained okay a new data set also given it will be able to discover patterns okay it also discover patterns for feature detection in machine learning you have a feature extraction then it goes to the classification model but in deep learning classification and the feature extraction goes hand on hand that is why that is why deep learning is more accurate in comparison with machine learning okay so um, here if you know about it you will learn a lot okay on ai so this is my company's website cir of uh, computation intelligence research foundation here basically it's a research and development company our company is a section 8 company okay registered under ministry of corporate affairs okay ministry of corporate affairs government of india here you can see we basically work with big data analytics data mining and artificial intelligence we develop algorithms solving problems and also we provide internships to students and also for faculty members the internships here the internship training of full hands on training will be given to the students and also faculty so you can think that it's it's little new because faculties 
we should have not learned uh, technology the new syllabus during our curriculum so we have to we have we are providing internship for faculties okay full hands on training will be given at the end even the faculties have developed projects okay on their own so and it will be more useful for them to teach the students and also for students okay we provide internship and we are working with the uh, uh, if a student is very good on technology we provide internships to them okay they'll be put directly onto the uh, project okay and uh, uh, these are the latest uh, we have completed the workshop on 1920 and 21 very very limited seats on predictive healthcare analytics how we use using machine learning classification model coming june 7 8 and 9 Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day between five to seven. Okay, we are providing this workshop uh, for the students, faculties, and corporates. It's a hands-on training where you you will take a data set on machine learning. Sorry, you'll take a data set on images, and we'll be working on. I will be the resource person of it. If any of you are interested, you can register for it. Very limited seat because it's hands-on. At the end of it, you will be able to develop the code. Okay, for a particular application, I'm I'm giving a healthcare application. You can do image image analytics, changing a data set according to your own application. Okay, if any of you are interested, you could register for this workshop. Okay, we have completed this workshop 19, 20, 21. Now 20 hours uh, course for faculty is going on at CIRF on machine learning. Okay, we completed this course on internship for students. Okay, it's to totally a 20-hour training, okay, a deep tra training on this to the students. Okay, even if anybody is interested, you can contact. Okay, these are the talks that I've given during this pandemic alone. Okay, whenever if you're interested, if you click it on, it goes to the college. Okay, it goes to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, yes. a lot of okay. almost all the events I post. I post it on uh, on my channel. This is on COVID cases. How data visualization has been done on Monday. I, I, even this uh, even this session. Okay, this session I'm posting it on my live channel, uh, YouTube channel. You can subscribe. You can uh, like the video if you want more comments. You can give to it on Monday. On Monday, I'm giving a talk on business opportunities. I work in the stream on June first. Uh, on June second. Uh, AI and IoT uh, for another college and on 5th big data analytics security and privacy okay uh, June 1st to Sairam Engineering College on machine learning models that's a two hour session I'll be handling it and on 10th I'll be doing it for a college in Kerala for data science on medical field okay so kindly subscribe to it all my videos will be there uh, I hope it will be useful for you okay for the students for the faculty members uh, and kindly subscribe to it you'll be knowing about it all right and now coming to our session since um, how do you develop it you use a training experience training experience or choose a target function all right and uh, cognitive robotics is an approach to create artificial intelligence in robots okay i told you about rpa right so cognitive it consists with robotics with intelligent behavior uh, okay and you have you should have heard about watson okay it can read understand documents both structured and unstructured the four steps are it observes it interprets it evaluates and decides upon it the visible phenomenon how it inter and also i'll show you a video how the watson is more more powerful than the intelligent humans okay it uses the natural language processing it reads and interprets doesn't look like search engine it breaks the sentence grammatically relationally and structurally okay and it does so it finds a real intent it does which is linguistic okay. model and algorithms okay here it creates a corpus of knowledge it curates the data pre-processes injection it creates a knowledge graph okay it creates a knowledge graph and it is trained by human okay so human be excellent common sense dilemmas morals compassion image but cognitive system they work very fast speed in natural language, identifying the pattern, locating the knowledge, machine learning eliminates and end the 
uh, biases okay and um, this is about I have taken course on IBM Watson also okay does the cognitive search and makes a better decision so it is known as robotic PA okay it's a conjunction between artificial intelligence and cognitive computing see this is a machine trained uh, Watson the center one okay Whenever the question is asked, you can, after the session, you can go and find your party challenge. Yes, after the first clue of the game, which Brad won, you can see Watson, what is chip? You are right. We actually took the lead, we were ahead of them, but then we started getting some questions wrong. Watson, what is leg? No, I'm sorry, I can't accept that. What is 1920? So at the end of that, you you could find that uh, Watson won at a very uh, huge difference. Okay. So Ken, they played with Ken and Brand. They are the most intelligent people. Even along with them, you can see uh, it's, it's Watson is what is trained using the cognitive thing. All right, and also robotic advices, okay, for digital platforms, for financial planning also, typical robots, uh, AI and robots, they come into existence. You can check about wealth friends, interactive advices, betterment, M1 finance, okay. So now we are going to play a live quiz from the questions, okay, from the talk. I post the link on the Google Meet and also onto my YouTube. Just click the link, give your name. Don't forget, it's a live quiz once I start it. And also uh, I'll give the YouTube link also on the chat. Okay, just click the link, give your name. We are going to play it live now. Okay, waiting, just give your name. You can join fast. Yeah, one person has joined. I'll wait for two few more minutes. After that, you cannot play. We are going to see who's the winner. Students and faculties. Okay, who's the winner is from MAM. Kindly uh, come with your name, so uh, then we'll find how many of you are really listening to the session. That's what I told you from the first. Okay, it's very, very simple. Just five MCQ questions. I have not posted it on stream yet. Mm, post it, post it, and I posted it on stream yet also. Okay, let's see, come fast. There are many students here in StreamYard. Come on, click the link. Click the link uh, and... Students, you are, uh, students, you are allowed to click the link and enter your name so that uh, your attendance will be displayed over there too. Make it fast. Because we can able to know how many participants are in active. Yes. So use the, uh, use the link www.meti.com and write down your name so that your name will be uh, displayed on the live quiz. Yes, exactly. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. It's a kind of fun. We can have it too. Do it now, immediately. Ah, uh, yeah. We have got 15, but we have got more than 100 people on you, Google Meet. At least 90. Expecting at least 80. Come fast. We are going to, after we start, it's very simple. You need not download anything. Just click the link, give your name, join. Don't leave. I have not started it. I will be starting it soon. Just write up your name alone. Make it fast. So this virtual meeting, no, we don't know how many of you are really are into it. Or you're sleeping, or you're cooking, or you're eating, or playing. Okay. So let's see who's going to be the winner. I hope everybody should be the winner. When you should give the correct answer and who's the fastest will be the winner. Here we go for the first question for the day. What's the first question? Whether chatbot, okay, whether chatbot is a humanoid robot. It's a humanoid robotics, yes or no? Just click yes or no. Yes, you're giving your answer fast. Nice to see. Join students, join fast. 
This event is exams arranged by the college to you. Most of you have given yes. Yes. The answer is whether the chatbot is a humanoid robot. The answer is no. Humanoid robotics are robotics. Like we saw about Sophia the robot, right? Chatbot is how we do use a chat application. So chatbot is not a humanoid robot. Okay, the next question. L read the question carefully. Oh. Now it is the leaderboard. I could see Jini, Shivamala, Nitish, and Rene is the fastest. We'll go to the second question for the day. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Which of the following is an example of strong AI? We saw about three types of AI, weak AI, strong AI, and specialized AI, whether it is Siri, painting robot, or self-driving car. Five, four, three, two, and one. Example of strong AI. Most of you have given the right answer, and the right answer is self-driving car. Painting robot, you know, it's a specialized AI. Let's see for the second round who is the winner. Those of you given the right answer and who was the fastest will be the winner. Yes, I suppose. Yeah, it is Abdul on the first, Rene on second, and Nitish Kumar, you are fastest for the second question. Shivamala, Janet, Abdul Rahman, Ranjit, and something they have not given their name, and Sunit. Okay, Sunita. Let's go to the third question for the day. Okay. Uh, Siri belongs to, whether it belongs to VKI, strong AI, or specialized AI. Siri. Okay. Oh my God, Siri, it belongs to VKI. Only six of you have given. I told, right, Siri, Google Assistant, and specialized AI or the painting robot, strong AI, the self-driving cars, the humanoids, and, and the robotic surgery. Let's see out of the six who's going to be the first place. Okay, some of you have given the right name, some of you have not given the right name. Okay, I don't know who's the ribbit is the fastest. If you know, you can put your name on the chat either on YouTube or on the Google Meet. Let's move to the fourth question for the day. Are robotics and artificial intelligence same thing? Yes or no? Are they same? Yes or no? Robotics and artificial intelligence. Are they same? Oh my God. They are different. Robotics is mechanical humans. AI is computer programs. Let's see who's going to be the winner in this round. Most of you are given the right answer. Fastest is Abdul. Rene and third is Natish, Sivamala, Ribit, and Janet. Janet was the active person. The, the final question for the day. Listen, who has coined the term artificial intelligence? Is it Sundar Pichai or John M. Carthy or Mark Zuzabal? Who coined the word artificial intelligence? All right, let's see. Oh my God, everybody have given the right, most of you have given the right answer. The artificial intelligence is coined by John McCarthy. This will define who is the winner of the quiz. Let's see. Bhaskar and Sunita and Shivam Malar. Congratulations, Abdul. You are the winner. Congratulations, to Abdul, for winning the quiz. Second is Shivam Malar, third is Rene, fourth is Nitish, fifth is Janet, Ranjit, Bhaskar, and I don't know who's a little bit, uh, Sunita and Meenakshi. Thank you. Well done, students. 
And your feedback about today's webinar on AI and automation, how was how it was it was it useful for you? You can also submit it multiple times. Some of you have given your names. Thank you, Debesh Paul, Sri Nara Singh. How was it? I'm just asking. Yeah, wonderful, excellent. Thank you, innovative. Did you understand something? The way you come in will not be the way that you have completed it. You should have learned something new. Yes, keep posting. Excellent explanation, wonderful, innovative, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, students, for the good feedback that you are giving the participants. It could be faculties uh, or students. So uh, I would like to thank the entire management of MAM uh, School of Engineering for having invited me to give the talk on AI and automation. And also we work with the PhD scholars. We give them the defining the problem definition, uh, train them to write the algorithms on their own and develop the codes on their own. We also help uh, in CIRF uh, in writing good journal papers, not publishing. How do you write a very good journal paper? And for patents and also uh, we collaborate with uh, colleges say for example some new courses that you need help to uh, take course for an entire semester I personally do uh, we, we we take courses on new technology mostly to be hands-on experience for the entire course and that also we provide from CIRF anybody interested you could contact us this workshop is on seven eight and nine it will be really useful for you it is a six hour fully hands-on session the requirement is you need to have a computer with internet connectivity okay oh. uh, thank you all for joining over to punita ma'am uh, thank you so much ma'am thank you for your wonderful presentation uh, so far uh, we all had enjoyed the session and uh, this is a very innovative and a very interesting thing thank you. Uh, uh, i would like to ask the participants if you have any further queries uh, we can pick up now yeah, any queries have it on the chat i've shared my contact details i will also share it on the google meet let me see any questions thank you abdul yeah, i have posted the youtube link of uh, uh, today's session if you want to do the registration for this course, you can click anywhere on that. You get the link. Very limited seat. If you are really interested, it's not compulsion. Uh, I'm not promoting anything. If you are interested to learn technology, student staff, or, or corporates, you could register for it. Any questions, students? Any questions? Okay, ma'am. I think I know that. Uh, Denise has asked, so students, make yourself interested on technology, start developing, I have shared a contact, there are many resource persons, you can uh, try, don't waste time, this pandemic, try to increase your uh, knowledge on hands-on, Okay, and anybody of them uh, is sick. Uh. How AI differentiate them? In chat box, how AI differentiate the getting data is true or not? So when you use data sets, right, uh, you should use a benchmark data set. Okay, when you use a data set, you need to use a benchmark data set. So that is much needed, okay, much needed. Because you cannot take any data set as rightly asked. It can be true or it can be false. Okay, so when you use a data set, uh, you should be if, uh, few, enough to take the benchmark data set that is validated by researchers okay that's validated by researchers and that has got different computation and permutation of data set so how do you write a generic algorithm and it will be able to learn patterns of the data set and the new, new data set that we feed into it whenever you train a new algorithm on machine learning or deep learning you should definitely write you should definitely take the benchmark data set from the repositories when you develop your own algorithm to validate it all right 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए आई विद आईओटी Okay, and big data analytics—they play a very vital role in, along with blockchain technology, on fields like finance, on healthcare, on education system, okay, on in insurance, on all the new developments of protection. Everywhere, these technologies, yeah, it gets bundled into any application. And next, in 2030 and 2040s, and uh, when you are strong enough in AI, only you will be able to serve. Why in any field of business or anywhere the job that you work, it could be of any field. Okay, so get yourself geared up with the new technology. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Any more questions, students? As blockchain arrived, yes, blockchain could be used in any application. Okay. Uh, even I have uh, made a talk last time on blockchain technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the link of it. You In can UK see. See to it. Okay, it, it, it can be used on a, 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 any technology like finance, for banking, for healthcare. Even IIT Madras, right? They have they have recently published an app. Okay, uh, recently uh, they have published an app uh, for the healthcare. Okay. It is in our country. You can, I've shared the link with you. You can see to it, and hope we will have a good collaboration with your college for the future talks or trainings. Sure. Sure. Uh, any other questions, students? I would like to call upon uh, Mr. Sarayan, Assistant Professor of Mechatronics, to give a word of thanks. Yeah, ma'am. Hi to everyone. It is my great pleasure to deliver the word of thanks for this event. I would like to thank Dr. Doran Robin, Founder and Director, Computational Intelligent Research Foundation, for a wonderful, informative, and interactive session on AI in automation. I would like to thank management, principal, faculties, students, and the participants from other colleges for making this uh, webinar a grand success. Once again, thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful session. Thank you, thank you, Priya. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the feedback. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Again, once again, uh, thank you for a wonderful presentation. Thank you, Punita, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So, you have to fill the feedback form.